Hello everyone and happy Easter. So I am bringing you this video on this beautiful Easter Sunday because my I just reached my two months. So I am two months post up today. Actually, let's see, today is the 31st. It was actually Friday was my official two months, but I am bringing you the video today. So stay tuned to the end because I am going to show you what I ate today for Easter dinner because this was my first official holiday since having surgery. Also, I'm going to show you my weigh-in. So stay tuned for that. just wanted to talk to you a little bit about what's been going on and you know how things are going so far so I cannot complain uh, two months or I should say my first month <laughs> and um, now second have been great um, it started off rocky of course I mean it's surgery so pain gas you know all of that you experience it and of course going through the liquid diet not being able to eat was rough but here we are I am now at the point um, I've gone through all the stages so I'm now at the stage where I can eat pretty much everything uh, are there still restrictions yes of course so there are some things I can't eat until I'm three months post-op so off the top of my head, I know pork chops, a steak, so basically rougher meats that are harder to chew up, and tomatoes, um, can't have those yet. And I'm trying to think of any, I can't really think off the top of my head of anything else that stands out to me, probably because those were like the only things I could think of that I would like to eat or like to eat that I can't have. <laughs> But I'm okay with it. I know that even with, you know, other meats, if it's, if it's hard for me to chew it up good, I just end up spitting it out anyway. So if it's, if it's too tough, I'm not eating it anyway. So I, I can understand the steak and pork chops. I'm just worried about my little tummy, my little pouch. So those are the things I can think of, but I know there's a list of other things as well. And I know for sure like popcorn and I'm not supposed to chew gum either. So those two things I can't have for six months. So that's the only things. But other than that, I mean, I'm, I'm eating um, very small portions, of course, <laughs> but I'm eating. And... I just want to kind of give you an idea of what I eat in a day. It's hard for me to film <laughs> what I eat in a day just because I have bad lighting in my house. It's an older house. So yeah, it's, it's pretty bad lighting, especially in my kitchen. So I can't really take you in there the way that I want to. I did post um, and I, I have my TikTok. TikTok. <laughs> linked in the description but i did post a video of what i um my favorite breakfast to make while i was on the soft food stage or yeah on the soft food stage and i've carried that over that's still like one of my favorite breakfasts to make but it's a um breakfast quesadilla so definitely you know click on the link and and check that out on my tiktok but um, just wanted to mention some other things as well. I am, you know, going to work and trying to find things that are quick is what works best for me during the week. So for me, I found that either uh, cream of wheat or grits, I prefer grits over cream of wheat, but you know, to each his own. <laughs> but um, that's something that's, you know, very quick to eat. And you can mix in like protein powder if you want to, you know, well, to add the protein to it. Or you can, what I do with the grits is I chop up some um, turkey Polish sausage, 
That's hard for me to say all together. Turkey Polish sausage. There you go. <laughs> um, I'll chop that up and put it in there or just like the turkey sausage links, like the breakfast sausage. Um, just pop that in a microwave, cut that up and put it in the, in the grits. Yummy to me. Um, I also have had grits at lunchtime <laughs> with some salmon. Just put that salmon, a piece, of, well, like a half a piece of salmon on uh, some, grit, some instant grits. It's, it's real quick and it seems fancy. It's like eating shrimp and grits or something, but it's delicious. So I will say that's, that's my go-to as far as like quick breakfast is that or eggs, um, like some egg whites scrambled and have it with the turkey sausage. But I have seen a lot of people and I have to thank you to um, those who have been posting things on TikTok, recipes and things like that because I have been seeing some other great high protein breakfast choices. So I'm going to have to try out some of those as well. Now with lunch, um, I am not the best at meal prepping. I, I've i never been good at that because I might bring something for lunch and then I don't want it. <laughs> so I don't know. I'm not the best at meal prepping, but I try like if we have enough leftovers from dinner, then I'll put aside something for lunch. So that's that's mainly what I consider my meal prep. I don't like prep for the week or anything like that. Um, might have to start trying to get into that, but I'm not, cause what I want changes so much that I'm like, it's hard for me to do that because I'll, I'll take something or sit up there and prepare something. And then I'm like, mm, I don't really want that now. So. Yeah, usually it's just bringing leftovers from dinner as far as my meal prep. But <laughs> I will say, if you're in a hurry or, you know, basically you're stuck at, at work and you have to eat fast food, I have had a few things fast food so far. Not, it's not something that I have often, but I had White Castles once. <laughs> And that actually wasn't at work. It was just on the weekend, you know, the kids wanted it. So we got White Castles and I had two burgers. Did I have two? Yeah, I had two burgers. I pulled off the top bun and just ate the bottom bun and the, and the burger part because uh, I wasn't ready for all that bread. But um, that, that was all I had. So the two little burgers and that's, perfect bariatric size because they're so little but um i had two of those no fries actually i might have had one or two of my daughter's fries but i didn't order any fries so i just had the two burgers um oh freddy's <laughs> so i did have freddy's and i had a half of my daughter's burger and again, took the top bun off and just ate the burger and the the bread. But um, mm, yeah, it, it was a half of a burger. It wasn't even a double burger. It was just a single cheeseburger. And McDonald's. So again, all of these that I'm saying, I had them only once. I haven't, <laughs> I'm not, you know, going back to my old ways or, you know, eating fast food all the time. This is one and done type things. Like I've, I haven't been eating fast food all the time, but McDonald's, I had a six piece nugget and I was surprised I was able to eat a six piece nugget. Actually, I had a 10 piece, but my kids kept coming in and taking, <laughs> taking nuggets from me, which I was fine with. So did I have six? I don't even remember if I had six of them or if I just had five, but um, I was surprised that I even ate that much, but I, I didn't have anything with it, like fries or anything. So it was just the nuggets, but I believe I ate six and um, I had dipping sauce with it, but that was it. High protein nugget, I mean, it's chicken nuggets, so great. 
and Panda Express. So Panda Express to me is a good one because they have where you can just get entrees, so just meat, and the the so sauce or gravies that they have may be where the calories come in, but it's it's high protein. So uh, did I count it? I didn't. So <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't have the numbers for you, but with Panda Express, I got a small entree of the chicken, the mushroom chicken. Delicious, because that was like one of my favorites anyway when I used to go to Panda Express pre-surgery. But I would get that and then get another entree and then the chow mein or the rice. So you see what I'm saying? Like I'm not, <laughs> definitely not eating all that. But I got the small entree and that was it. And honestly, I wasn't even able to finish the whole small entree in one sitting. Like I ate half of it and then maybe an hour or two later then I ate the other half. But that's a good option if you're looking for something like on the go fast food wise. But that's the only fast foods that I've had. Um, not like I plan on getting a lot, but <laughs> Like I said, for lunch, usually I'm taking like leftovers. So that's why I don't I don't have, to, you know, it's, it's not a necessity for me to get anything. But some other things that I have thought about as far as, you know, what could I eat if I'm unable to take a lunch? So what is that? Um, like Jimmy John's, they have the... Uh, they have wraps, of course, but then they also have the, is it called the Unwitch? I think that's what it's called. Where it's basically one of their, their subs, like the meats that come on the sub, but it's wrapped in lettuce instead of you getting it on bread. So that's a great option. Um, I'm trying to think of somewhere else. I mean, I guess anywhere where there's a burger, you can take the, you know, take the bread off and other sub type places, again, just minus the bread or you can eat the bread. I know that this is something else I was going to talk about, so I'll bring it up now, but white bread for me has kind of been a no-no. <laughs> like I've noticed then most of the time that I've had dumping has been when I'm eating white bread. And so I, th I think it's not agreeing with my stomach or that, or it fills me up too fast. And then I'm not feeling like I'm eating a lot. And then I, I end up, you know, yeah, experiencing dumping. So that's why I'm I'm naming things that kind of cut down the bread or take it out altogether. But uh, another thing that, or I'm just trying to think of things that I have experienced this month or this past month. So I have started drinking through a straw. Now, only water, like honestly, that's the only drink that I've been having is water. I have not been drinking anything else. I still have not gone back two protein shakes or trying to go back just because right after surgery, they turned me off so bad, like, <laughs> that I just haven't gone back. But I try to eat meats or, you know, a, a, a meat, a good portion of meat in every meal so that I'm getting a lot of protein in. Am I getting enough? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. But hopefully I am. I just haven't I'm not really counting it. I just try my best. <laughs> That's it. But eventually I will try to incorporate protein shakes back in at least a little bit so that I'm making sure that I'm getting enough protein. But right now I've just been drinking water and that's it. And just trying to make sure that I'm getting enough liquid in because I don't want to become dehydrated like I was at my two week, yeah, my two week checkup. It was bad. So, yeah, so drinking through a straw, it just, I mean, yeah, they say like that could um, cause you to have gas. It can cause your pouch to stretch. I haven't experienced gas drinking out of the straw. I, 
Maybe it's because I'm only drinking water out of it. I don't know, but I haven't noticed anything. And to me, like, for me, as far as like the temperature of water, I like it ice cold. So I like to drink it out of like a cup, one of those, you know, temperature regulated or keeps your, your drink cold type cups that has the straw. So that's the only reason why I'm drinking out of a straw. But it's it's been helping me get a lot more fluids in doing it that way versus just drinking it out of a water bottle or something that's going to eventually get room temperature. So I did go out to eat for the first time since surgery and I posted a short of it. And so me and my son, we went to a Korean barbecue place I will tell you Korean barbecue or at least like eating it, you know, with them, bringing the meat and you can prepare it on the table. It's like an all you can eat type thing. So as a bariatric patient, unless you're going with somebody that's like eating enough for both of you, <laughs> it's kind of a waste of money because you can't eat that much. Well, I went with my son, my 21 year old growing son, you know, <laughs> this is a grown man. Okay, so he ate enough for both of us. So I did not feel like I wasted my money, but it was good. Great protein because it's, you know, mainly meat. And then they have the little sides where it's like vegetables, the uh, fish cake, the vegetable cake, you know. So I tried a little piece of, of everything just so I could try it for the first time. But it was a great experience. I was nervous beforehand because I was like, what if I eat too much? I, you know, but it went fine. And I feel like I mentioned this on my channel before, but maybe I didn't, I don't know. I can't remember if I came to you all before that or after, but I know that I posted a short, so you can definitely check that out. And today being Easter, this is my first holiday. So I'm going to put a picture on one, you know, on the side of me, this side or this side, showing you my plates. This was all I was able to eat and I didn't actually eat all of it. So the macaroni, my daughter ended up eating the rest of my macaroni because I can eat it all. And then what else did I not eat? I didn't eat all my greens, but I, I was trying to eat the protein first. <laughs> so I had, it's, it's a little leg from a Cornish hen. So I ate that first. And then my sister made this delicious salmon pasta. So it's salmon in there, uh, like a grilled, I don't know if it's grilled or baked salmon, but delicious. So that was good. And again, like I said, I was starting with the protein and working my way down. So I did not finish it all. But as you can see from my plate, this looks like something that you're preparing for your child, like a toddler. <laughs> but my first holiday, I got through it and I did well. I wanted to talk to you also about dumping. So the last time I talked to you about dumping, I had only experienced it once. Well, I've experienced it like three times now and it's not, it's not great, of course. And like I told you, I think it's, it's something with bread. I really think that's what it is because anything else that I eat, I don't have a problem. But when bread is incorporated in there, that's when the problem arises. So off the top of my head, I can only think of two times, both have something to do with bread. Uh, another time I drank water too soon after eating and <laughs> that it gave me the feeling of dumping, but I didn't like nothing actually came up afterwards, but I was like, okay, let me chill out. But thankfully nothing came up. And then the one time that I told you about before was when I, when I first <laughs> started my soft food stage and I made that breakfast quesadilla and definitely went to town on it and ate too much and ate it too fast. And yeah, it all came back up. Clothing size. 
Okay, so it's only been two months. I haven't gone down, you know, drastically yet. But I'm happy to say, like, I'm not at the point where I have to go buy a whole new wardrobe or even buy new clothes because I still have clothes that I was still trying to squeeze into <laughs> or that I just had in my closet, like, okay, you're going to get back down into this. You know, I kept telling myself that even though without the surgery, I probably wouldn't have, but still have stuff in my closet that was taking up space that I couldn't fit, but now I can fit it. So I will say prior to surgery, I was a solid 18 for sure. Could have probably gone up to a 20, but definitely an 18. So I was 18 teetering on a 20, but now I'm a 14, 16. So that's beautiful. I'm glad to say that. And some of my 18s, as far as jeans, I'm still wearing them just because my waistline is kind of um, big. <laughs> I mean, it's always been kind of big for, for my proportions wise. Okay, so waist wise, I can still kind of sort of wear 18, but it's, it's either loose on me where I have to wear a belt or it's loose where it's like, oh, this is nice. Like it's, you know... <laughs> I can breathe, but I'm not at the point of like tossing them out altogether. There were some that I did, I, I had to get rid of, but there's still maybe like one or two size 18 jeans that I still have in my closet. As far as the dresses though, or tops, no. And my kids get on me because they're like, that's too big. Why? <laughs> Why are you trying to wear that? That's too big, okay? <laughs> So I um I posted on my thumbnail a picture of before and it's like a before and after picture, but I was so excited about this picture because these jeans that I have in the after, they're not the exact exact same ones in the before, but they're a size 18 and they fit very loosely on me and I'm I'm so happy about that. And then the top I ended up cutting it, like kind of cropping it or whatever, because it's, it's just hanging on me. So I had to like do, you know, do a little razzle dazzle <laughs> to hold on to it a little bit more or longer. So that's my before and after, but the before picture, I don't think I was at my very heaviest there. I think I was close, but I can't remember if I was at my heaviest at that time so i was probably like two six between 260 and 270 and then the after is now it was just taken a couple days ago so speaking of that let's go ahead and get to my weigh-in So as you see, I have lost a lot. So eight pounds down since my last weigh-in with you all. And, or did I do a weigh-in then? No, I don't think so. But I did tell you about it um, at my one month. So I was 231. I'm now at 223. So eight pounds down. I was hoping to lose 10 pounds this month, but you know, 10, two, two, two pounds off is not bad. So I'm not, not complaining at all. And hopefully it'll be another 10 next month. We'll see. So I haven't started working out yet. Haven't gone to, I haven't even been walking because I think because of me being dehydrated, it's kind of got me worried even now. Like if I'm just walking around the store, like say going to Target, walking around, I kind of get a little lightheaded. So I'm 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 still a little nervous as far as actually walking out working out or going for a walk around the neighborhood or anything like that. I have noticed that I need to have water with me at all times. Like this is, you know, when I'm going on a drive, going, you know, running errands, things like that, I keep water on me. So maybe if I just 
you know, have my bottle of water at the gym. I should be fine, but that's coming soon, okay? <laughs> I do want to start incorporating some type of cardio first, and then we'll go on to weights, but I definitely want to start some type of cardio this month. So that is my goal for month three is, you know, getting some cardio in. And I also wanted to show you some things. So my surgical tape has finally come off. <laughs> finally, it's, it's like a little piece on one of my scars is still hanging on a little bit, which is weird. Like most people by their two week appointment, their, you know, their surgical tape has come off. I don't know if it's because I've had four children. My stomach is severely, you know, stretched. <laughs> okay, I have a lot of stretch marks. So I don't know if it's like the the texture of my stomach, if that's what's making, you know, them hold on longer. I don't know. But finally, they're almost off, completely off. But I did buy this off Amazon, the Scarway Silicone Scar Gel. And I'm going to link it down below. But I'm, I've started using this on the ones that have, you know, the, the tape has completely come off just to make sure that it's healing properly. They look good so far. I would show you, but I don't feel like doing all that right now, but <laughs> they look good. Okay. Like barely any discoloration is, is like discoloration on some of them, but not all. And I think they're healing really good. And then I also purchased this here. And hopefully you can see this okay. I don't know. But this is belly firming cream. Uh, it's supposed to, let's see, lift, firm, tighten, moisturize, anti-wrinkle. So even though it says belly firming, of course you can use this anywhere. But I've noticed some loose skin on, of course, my arms and my thighs a lot, which I, I figured that because I, I have some, you know, pretty big thighs. So <laughs> that's mainly where I'm seeing the loose skin. And then, of course, on my belly, but really not not that bad on my stomach. It's, it's mainly the arms and the legs, definitely the legs. So I've been putting some of this on there. I just kind of started using this, so I can't really tell you if it's doing anything yet, but it had great reviews on Amazon. Like a lot of people were saying that they noticed a difference and that it, you know, it worked well. So I'm gonna try it out, see how it goes. I'll let you know a little further along, um, you know, how if, if it's making a difference. Also, I've been using it on my neck as well, just because yeah, I've noticed, um, <laughs> I don't know if it's because the double chin is going away or what, but it seems like the skin is a little loose on my, on my neck as well, which is weird to me, but I, I started putting this on there just because, uh, I don't want to, you know, some hanging, I don't, I don't know. I, <laughs> I just want to nip that in the bud early if I can, but these are the two new uh what am i trying to say these are two of the newer products that i've been using so i'll definitely link these below and like i said after some you know more use i'll let you know how it's going and keep you updated on these but that is all i have for you for this two month check-in and i will definitely see you at number three um, uh, so my two month post-op appointment was supposed to be this week, but I ended up having to push it back. So I will check in actually after that as well, just to let you know how that went and what the doctor is saying. Uh, I do believe that I'm having blood work done. If not at that appointment, it may be the appointment in May. I'm not sure. But either way, I will come back and let you know how that goes. And then you'll see me again 
at three months. So <laughs> thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed. And if you have any questions, anything I didn't answer about how things are going so far, definitely, you know, put that in the comments and I will answer your questions if I can. Thank you again. See you next time.